Hey guys, I'm gonna start this video off in the dark because we got here in the dark. My little guy had a party at school, so I wanna make sure I made it to that. But we've got our fire going. We've got our canopy set up. Uh, Patrick's back there setting, finishing up our tent. And BJ is over there putting his tent up. So we are out here. We're gonna, um, I think it's only like six o'clock even though it's dark. We have a moon that's still about 85% illuminant since it was the full moon on Tuesday and today's Friday. Uh, let's see if you guys can see it. That's it up there. That's our moon, a little bit of light. It's not too terribly bad. Of course, I'm standing by the fire saying that. Um, fleece jacket, a little bit of light gloves, and of course a hat. We're gonna get ready and make some burgers up tonight as soon as we get our tents all settled up. Jason got here early, so we got a bunch of wood. There's our pile of wood over there. So he's already started cutting it and splitting it up to go with our fire pit here. So that's it. You join us on our weekend. We're back out here in Western Maryland. And um, we're gonna have a nice weekend. We didn't bring the kids this weekend. We always do a winter, early winter trip and then we'll do a later winter trip a little bit later too um, without the kids. It's just a little too cold for them. And this gives us a chance to kind of get out and about and hang out without them a little bit so um, we're gonna get our table set up over here tonight and we'll see how it goes Jason said he heard a couple of animals he's deciding whether it was a skunk a fox or a raccoon um, so it makes me think we're probably gonna have some visitors tonight so we'll make sure we keep the campsite nice and clean and we'll see what goes on from then So I'm in the tent, we're setting up. Uh, this time we brought our Sunrise 10 by 10. And we're putting some lights up now. Oh, they are here. Just a little something, we still need to get all of our bags up. Alright, so I'll run through some specs just because everybody always likes specs. So, two roll pads. We have one REI and one Thermarest. Uh, these are actually our backpacking roll pads. So, a little bit thinner and um, cut down the size. So, we don't care about the extra weight. But, what we're going to do is I actually, because we have the car and we're winter camping and we have the room. We're going to put a fleece blanket down first. Uh, temperature. Minus 28 degrees I think it's supposed to get to tonight. So, of course, that's not going to hit till like 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, so, we brought a little extra comfort. We're going to take our square bags and then put our mummy bags inside of our square bags. And usually that keeps us pretty toasty. Uh, so, here's our square bags and the black bags. And then we both have our mummy bags over there. So, let me get my fleece blanket out first. Okay, so here we go. Fleece blanket first. Now put the... Here, try this. You might like this. Oh, where'd you get that? I think this is what I had when we were in, in um, Amsterdam. Oh, that's a white beer. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Okay, so here's my setup. So I have the Slumberjack um, regular square bag. A lot of times we zip these together. Um, we'll use each other's body heat, but like I said, it's going to be really cold tonight, so um, I don't like to get too cold, so I have my slumberjack, and I actually put my marmot. Now, my marmot mummy bag is a 25-degree bag, but once I stick that inside my square bag, um, it just keeps me twice as warm and comfortable, so I don't wake up in the middle of the night. Patrick's going to do the same thing. He's got the same square bag. He's got a different marmot bag than I do. I think his is minus or uh, 15 degrees um, and he'll wind up doing the same setup as me. So that's how we roll inside the tent on our cold nights. Some extra protection on the bottom. Keep the cold ground away from us. And then um, I have my other fleece blanket that I use around the fire just to take the chill. I usually lay it down on my chair to take the chill off my back. So that's what that one's going to be for. But 
All right, I'm ready to go make some burgers, so let's get out of here. <laughs> Naturally cloudy. Coriander and orange peel. I thought it tasted orange in it. Where's it from? Wheat beer brewed with... It's from a farm or something. Who brought them? It's a bottled brand. No, yes. 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 Yeah, Brewed by something, Ho Garden NV, Ho Garden Belgium. Imported by Import Brands Alliance, St. Louis, Missouri. So they probably just bring it in out of Missouri or into Missouri and ship it from there. You guys like him? Oh. I thought it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Delicious. Like yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good tasting. I'm hungry. We're ready to cook. I could go for a burger, man. Warm me up some, get some food in me. I'm sticking with my Mike's oh, water balance. <coughs> I had a <coughs> roast beef sandwich. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, finally it's dinner time. Yeah, it's once in a while. I'll my it's a burger night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, yep. I don't know what they're talking about. The sausage and everything else, but it's burger Yeah, night. you like dipping sausage too, Stacey. Mm, I do. I like it without that sausage cover, though. You don't like yours wrapped? I don't like mine wrapped. You ever do Nathan's hot dogs? No. They're freaking good. And you can get them skinless or wrapped or whatever. I always get the natural casing on them because they give you that crunch when you bite into them. Oh. Uh, I fucking love it. Like that's good as long as it's not that stringy oh, yeah. wrapping. So I came to bed, I'm in my tent, um, it's about 39 degrees out, I'll tell you one of my tricks that I really like is I always put a fleece blanket, it just gives me that extra little comfort inside and I feel like it keeps my legs and stuff warm. The other trick is, um, hand warmers don't last long enough so I fill a Nalgene bottle with boiling water and it keeps my hands warm. I can put it up against my body. It also ha ha adds heat to my sleeping bag. So it's just heats up the sleeping bag a little bit. I can also stick it on my pillow. And honestly, in a few minutes that warm, that spot gets nice and warm. So I'm not putting my head down. I broke my nail. Um, I'm not putting my head down on the cold pillow. So this is actually an awesome trick. It's easy, especially if you're backpacking. I use it a lot because... Um, I'm carrying an algae bottle anyway. Um, the water's boiled, so when, by the time it cools off in the morning, I have an extra drink of water in the tent too, which is a nice added feature. But right now, it is a fabulous hand warmer that I can keep up against me and keep my hands nice and warm. Um, the other thing I do is I like to wear knit socks that are baggy on my feet. I don't like to have the socks that I had on all day long, so I have a pair of knit socks that are a little bit bigger and I just use them to sleep in. I'll probably take this long sleeve t-shirt off once I get zipped up and tucked in. I'm not too tired yet, so I'm gonna get my sketchbook out and just do some sketches. The guys are still out at the fire, hanging out and waiting for the fire to go down. So I'm hoping to get some me time here in the tent alone, just listening to the sound of the wind hitting the trees and stuff. So we'll see how tomorrow does. Have a good night. Oh, good morning. It's chilly out this morning. There's a slight wind, but we had a good night. Sleeping bags were nice and warm. Um, I did make myself another little Nalgene hand warmer this morning. We had some water that had some ash in it, so Patrick put it in a bottle. So I'm walking around with this. The guys are behind me. They're getting the fire going for breakfast. I think we have a potato bacon hash for breakfast that we're going to make. I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, but right now we're just staying around. Everybody's making their coffee. I got a hot tea going. And um, we're going to figure out what we're going to do today out here. It's pretty good. You looking to get to work? Huh? You looking to get to work? No shirt, if you're wood. Just a pair of bibs. Yeah. That's all I want. One. <laughs> what are 
We got a nice stock. Of... Yeah. Fire it up. Get something for lunch. I think I'm gonna move this forward. Just in case. We got some work to do here. Really, all that means is the guys have some work to do here. Good morning. All right, this is our last last day here. I didn't do much of a camping trip. It was a pretty simple camping trip this weekend. It's just the four of us out here. Uh, I will say my sleeping bag system worked really well. Patrick actually got too hot his last night with his mummy bag inside his square bag. Uh, we're just we do have a little heater with us. This was a new item, but it helped when you're washing your hands with freezing cold water. So. Um, we're going to get ready. We're going to pack up soon. Nice weekend. We had no rain, no wind, beautiful fires, huge fire pit. You can see behind me over here, uh, we're leaving the next person a ton of wood. Yeah, a lot of extra wood. We didn't have a whole lot of wind, so we didn't go through a lot of wood this time. But uh, this is out here, our, our primitive camping weekend, kids free, hot tea, and nice weekend. We did add some... You've probably seen the cooking videos. We added some wind guards. Not really for the wind, but we were testing out the heater to see if we put that heater up, if it gave us a little bit of a warm spot underneath the picnic table. What worked really well was putting the heater under the picnic table and the heat rising kept our feet warm when we were just sitting around the picnic table last night eating and, and talking and stuff. So, so that's it. So join us next time. Bye, guys.